Next, I want to talk about DICOM. Let's, let's discuss DICOM. So first, DICOM stands for Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. So, what, so, what, so what's DICOM? So DICOM is a standard form of communication for transferring, acquiring, and storing medical images between different medical systems. So it's a, it's a, so it's pretty much basically DICOM is a, is a, uh, is a, the method of, uh, the method of communication between medical images, uh, excuse me, between medical devices. So if we go back to the example that we were talked about um, earlier with, uh, with the imaging center, so, um, so typically, so as we can look at here, for um, the modality, you know, after the patient had their exam, the technician took the exam, okay, uh, the images are stored, they're stored on the, um, on the actual scanner. From that point, uh, the technician needs to, send the, needs to send those images to the PAC system. And looking at our screen here, so we have, um, in, in order to do that, um, uh, very smart people uh, came up with a, of, of a, stan a standard way of communicating for, you know, to be able to, to get this accomplished. And this is where DICOM com comes into play. So DICOM is just a form of communication. Um, to be able, so, you know, for, for different th devices so they can communicate medical devices so they can communicate with, with, one, with one another for transferring um, uh, medical, uh, you know, medical images and anything else that's medically, that can be, med you know, transferred medically uh, outside of images, maybe in reports or can be encapsulated in DICOM and, and all, all, all sorts of uh, items. So typically um, here, we're looking at the slide here, we have application entities, okay? Now, let's look at the MRI modality. Three basic, um, um, three basic uh, um, items that make up uh, pretty much, you know, when you're, when you're trying to, to communicate, when, when one application entity is trying to communicate with another application entity, they typically need three pieces of identifiable information. And this is, these are the AE title, which is, um, which is pretty much just the, uh, whatever, whatever you can call it, the, call it the actual device. Um, it's the actual application entity title, the name of a device, the IP address and the port number that uh, this medical device is listening on. Okay, so and then now if we go down to the the, um, the actual details here, so DICOM application entity, a service or application that supports and uses the DICOM standard. Then, so we've talked about that. Um, let's see here. So what else we have here? Unique identifiers, UID. Um, Actually, I think I may have this unique identifiers definition here on the wrong page. It should be probably on the next slide, I believe, because unique identifiers. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about that, but um, unique identifiers provides the abil capability to uniquely identify identify a wide variety of items. Uh, they guarantee uniqueness across multiple countries, sites, vendors, and equipment. Different classes of objects, instance of objects, and information entities can be distinguished from one. Okay, so we're going to talk about UIDs. So UID is going to be more actually very discussed on the next page, unique identifier. But we're going to talk about that in the next page. But basically, this is what um, uh, for for DICOM, for um uh, application entities to communicate between one another, they use the DICOM standard, okay? 
All right, and 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 uh, the AE title, IP, and the port number are the three identifiable items that pretty much you need. Um, sometimes maybe it's possible that some may be optional depending on how your device is configured, but typically these are the items that you need to be able to communicate with another medical device. Now, let's talk about um, uh, next, association and transfer. So going back to our same example that we, that we uh, talked about earlier, where the tech is where they're transferring images. Um, you know, they've acquired the images from the scan, from the, the patient having the x-ray, uh, their knee done. So at the modality, right, if we use this example here, we, the modality wants to transfer, um, send, they want to send the images to PAC so it can be stored for the radiologist so, they can, so the, the radiologist will be able to dictate the exam. Now, in order to transfer, in order for the modality to transfer, uh, the modality is going to implement uh, parts of the DICOM standard in order to perform this, this, this transfer. And typically, um, when uh, one device wants to, one, when one medical device wants to, to, wants to send to another device or communicate with another device, at first, you have to first in the in the DICOM standard. What happens first, usually, typically, is uh, use um, establish uh, association. So, in an example here, the modality will first send an association request to the PAC system. All right. Now, and if the PAC system is, uh, you know, if the modality has everything right as far as the request that they're sending to, you know, they have the correct AI, uh, AE title, IP address, the port number, you know, um, and that's what the modality is going to use in the association. They're going to send an association request, you know, to, the, to that uh, device, you know, port number, um, IP and AE, send to the PACS. Now, the PACS is listening. It's, uh, the PACS will say, okay, yes, I have this request. And I accept the association, so the PAC system will then in turn send a reply uh, back to the modality saying, yes, I accept the association. At that point, you know, now you have the association. The association has been established. So now, at that point, we have, um, at that point, once the association is established, um, and the, at that point, the modality most likely will establish, you know, there are different types of uh, transfer syntaxes, transfer syntax, which we talk about. There's a uh, definition below. Um, and transfer syntax is, what is the, pretty much the method of transferring the images or utilizing the DICOM standard. It's kind of like the encoding, the, in, the encoding of the actual images. Like what, what method are we going to use to transfer the images, Okay. So that part is typically um, established at the at the time of association. They'll 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 they'll, they'll um, um, uh, they will decide upon um, the form of uh, you know of how these images will be transferred. You know, based on what the modality sends. You know, what, what how the modality wants to send, and depending upon if the PAC system actually. Will um, will uh, accepts the um, the form of uh, you know um, encoding or, tr or transfer syntax. So we, I list a few examples of like transfer syntaxes, transfer syntax. So transfer syntax UID that goes back to the definition of UID on the previous page. So that's why it's supposed to be there. So, okay. So so so. Um, so the the, uh, the UID, you know, you have a um, unique identifier. So so let's say if, take the first one, uh, transfer syntax UID. You have a number that's, that ends in one dot two, and that um, relates to the implicit VR little Indian syntax. And this is the default 
This is the DICOM default transfer syntax. So it's just the default supported uh, transfer syntax that the uh, DICOM standard supports. Um, and then you have a few others, you know, a couple of others, you know, explicit VR, little Indian, lossless JPEG image compression. So it's in this, in these, these different syntaxes, again, they pretty much described, um, like how these images, how these images, how these images will be sent to, um, uh, encoded and stored to packs. Um, and and so this uh, pretty much briefly describes the association and the transfer of medical images. Now, so let's get in, into a little bit more of uh, okay. So let's 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 talk about Diacom tags. All right. So Diacom tag is a unique identifier for an element of information composed of an ordered pair of numbers. So so pretty much in the DICOM standard, you will have um, identifiable patient information. And each piece of identifiable patient information, such as um, uh, patient's name, patient's birth date, you know, the, um, the study, instance the, the actual study instance uid they they all can all can be associated to it they all identified by a diacom tag so for instance the patient's name will have a diacom tag of zero zero one zero 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 one zero so you know that if um and this is a standard so it's set across for for any medical device that that's utilizing the Di Diacom standard, any device that you go to, um, let's say that sends images somewhere uh, to a pack system to one pack to any pack system, you'll know that you can use zero. You'll know that if you see the Diacom tag, if you open up that study and view the contents of the Diacom headers of the actual image, you know, from the images. And we'll go into the details on actually how to, how to, how to do this when we actually go into um, uh, the actual workshop. You know, you, you'll see this in action. But you'll, if you see zero, when you see 0010, comma 0010, you'll, you'll know that that relates to the patient's name and it'll show, it'll have the actual patient's name. Same thing with uh, 0010, comma 0030. You know, that's you. You'll know that that's the patient's birth date. Um, study instance UID is um, so that's that's one identifiable piece of information. That that just pretty much means that each study at the study level, each study has a study instance, uh, study instance, a study UID the unique identifier for that study. It's unique, it's, uh, you know, unique, one of a kind. So the study instance, the UID, that's what that means. Uh, and it, it also has its own unique DICOM tag. Now the VR uh, value repre representation, it's, it uh, describes the data type and format of that data elements value. So if you ever see when you're looking at the DICOM standard, um, you can look up. If you see PN, you know that's uh, that's that's that describes person name. DA is for date. UI is for unique identifier. And you'll be able to see these different types of data types um, for all the different types of uh, DICOM tag, uh, DICOM tags. And you can actually, and I, I'm going to include here. Um, actually, I don't have the um, DICOM standard. You can access the DICOM standard. Um, I, I will include it. Actually, let's see. I'm going to actually do this now while we're live on the air, right? So we're going to go to Google DICOM standard.
So you, so you can actually access the Diacom standard. Um, is this the one where we want to actually go to? Is this going to be a good one? I thought that there was a... Okay, so you can also... So this is a new site here. But let's... So typically... Um, so, so in the past, I've gone to... All right, so that's the same site. So you can go to, so they've made some changes. They've made some updates to the site. Before, it was uh, a little bit more ancient and relic, but they've, they've made some updates. So you can go to www.diacomstandard.org uh, slash current, and you can access all parts of the Diacom Standard. If you wanted to delve, dive deeper into what the Diacom Standard uh you know, what it's about, more information. You can get all that f from here. And this is where uh, medical devices, when they are, uh, you know, that utilize the DICOM standard, they implement, they have to follow the standard of these, of these rules set, set, forth, set forth here. And they, and they have, you know, a lot of different parts. Um, they, they talk about a multitude of different aspects of, transmission and storage and anything else that's dealing with medical images. So, from current slide. So, um, so that's a brief overview of um, DICOM tags or uh, well, DICOM in general. And when we go into our uh, live workshop, You'll you'll be able to see this live in action of how this this um, this implements how this theory goes into um, actual implementation. You, you'll you'll see this live. So thank you very much, and until next time, take care.